Na, ja, so. Ah. Hey guys, it's Das, Beefy, hi. We're in Sydney for Gabs, which we're running late for, but we're not too bothered about. First up, got a beer. That's right. <laughs> we're preloading before the, uh, the Gabs Festival. We've had uh, your aniseed myrtle trial brew. Yep. Uh, which is very nice. Sort of bit aniseed's nice, sort of uh, herbal. Yeah. Bit. Nice easy drinking pale, about four and a half percent. Four. Four. Four percent. Then we had the, the milk porter, which uh, I had the pleasure of brewing with this this man at Endeavour Brewing. It's getting on a bit, but uh, it's still all right. And uh, I thought I'd do a side by side tasting with this beer that I brewed, which is the Goody Milk Stout, which Grand Glass video is coming soon. So this one is fermented with Giga Yeast 044 Scottish Ale. And this one is fermented with, just ignore the um, label, uh, fermented with fake. So we're going to do a side by side. It's a good day for it. Second day of winter. That's right. You see, see I'm wearing like this. Too many layers. <laughs> Not enough layers. So this is a fake. This is the Giga Yeast bottled off the keg, so this is probably a little lower carbonation. So I'll be a bit more aggressive with the pool. Cool. So this one, the Giga oh. Yeast has much more of a caramel note. That's got a really nice coffee. Coffee the, nose on it. The Giga Yeast? Mm. Just from your malt, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. It's got uh, brown malt and the chocolate rye. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's a, it's a roasted like, there's roasted wheat. Ah, oh, well, okay. Which is the chocolate. It's milk. almost got that um, a cold filtered coffee. So yeah. I think a like really nice yeah, yeah. rounded rounded roastiness. Yeah, coffee roasted not, not not astringent. That that I mm. find that with yeah, the, yeah. the Gladfield roasted malt is you, you get that real coffee chocolate. Flavour without the astringency. Yeah. I'll try the. So that's the. This is the out first. Yeah, this is the one that was entered in the Staves Brewing Competition. Spoiler alert: I didn't win. <laughs> I didn't place. We're winning right now. Winning now. That's right. Million miles from my from the milk porter actually. It's a lot richer. Mm. It's <coughs> funny, like it, it starts like that that roasted character, like mild roasted character, mm. sort of there almost from the beginning, and comes into the mid part, and then it sort of flattens out a little bit, and then that, that really nice like richness that comes towards back. Mm. It's always a hop. Um, bitted with, pretty sure I bitted with Warrior. Mm -hmm. uh, Topaz was the late edition. Mm. No, Pacific J. Pacific J was the bittering. Yeah, 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 okay. So you get a slight mm. spicy tingle. Yep. Which then works with the Topaz. Mm. And the Topaz is, like, it's a fruity, but I also find it's an earthy character from Topaz. But with a nice little subtle fruity twing. Got that, um, the after flavour. The um, cold filtered coffee after flavour though, again. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. I don't, I don't, well, I don't like coffee, but I don't <laughs> mind cold filtered coffee. That's as close as I You don't want coffee in, in beer. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, there, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done the side by side. I've had the other bottle of this. Whoa. Very different smell. It's almost like a, uh, it's like sour milk, but yeah. not not not, <laughs> not sour milk, way. but it's like a. Yeah. Uh, was I it? think it's that and that, people say that big strong apple ester that's kind of. But yeah, you're right. There's no, 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 apple. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But but I think but associated with that with that lactose, you yeah. smell like ooh, that's not supposed to be there. Mm. 
really thin up. Yeah, wow. That feel and this uh, when I tasted the um the start of this, the mouthfeel was mm. huge. Yeah, like, big thick caramel. Yeah, this is nowhere near mm. as good. <clears throat> really interesting. But, to try it like that. Yeah, the, the only the only difference is the yeast. yeast. Yeah. So, Matt, like, like everyone needs to understand how much yeast impacts on your beer and That's something like this is an amazing way yeah, so of learning that. All I did here, as you probably see in the video when it's released, is I had about two litres of extra wort left over. Post boil, I just put it into a Tupperware container, sanitised of course, and pitched trade yeast on it and, well, I don't rate that at all. It's just chewed through so much more. Yeah. Like even that roasted character is lost so much. You get, I get a more of a twang, mm. like that dry well, finish. And with that apple-y, apple-y character. And I, don't, I, I do not like the smell. It's almost like it's almost like a soury milk or that apple and milk. Like mm. that's not really a thing you probably want to be no. tasting. But like when you when you get it, you go, oh, that's different. <laughs> apple, I'm, I'm actually astounded because I tasted this early on uh, with a couple of other mates during the ferment. Or, no, 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 no. down the bottle after oh, it was right. finished, and it was like. Better, well, I remember it as better than this, but maybe mm. I, I actually think I hadn't tried the real thing. Yet, oh, yeah, okay. Because this fermented mm. like, a couple of hours. Yeah. <laughs> this um, went, right, let's go. Yeah, I've done. <laughs> Pitch and into the bottles. <laughs> oh, just the, to AB the smell. This is sweet caramel mm. chocolate. Yeah. That actually coffee. That smells so much sweeter. Because <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah, coffee, coffee, coffee. And then went, oh, hang on, there's caramel in there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm actually, mm, that's, that, that's one of the biggest differences I've ever. I'm glad I started brewing to 23 litres to have a, some extra work to play with very easily. And it's really worth it. If you don't do it, you should try because this is a really interesting experiment. Yeah, chuck this in the Gabzik next year, it'll do really well. <laughs> it's sour, it's funky, you'll love it. Sour milk here. <laughs> <laughs> apple, apple sour. <laughs> and milk. And, and cardboard. And. Uh, <laughs> <Being nosy. laughs> I really like how you've deconstructed the old flavors. <laughs> it's funny, like. In a way, though, like it's interesting that you've got that apple-y character, but then there's still that slight sense of that milky. That's so thing. delicious now. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to have have this beer to max really yeah. appreciate that one. Like, no, that's right. That's all right. Maybe it'll be like Gabs. We'll go out to Gabs and go, shit, shit, shit. Oh, I hate that. Is really good. <laughs> <laughs> there always has to be a shit beer in your paddle. There's always so a shit you go beer. like, oh, it doesn't matter. Not so sure about that one. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, rather than rabbiting on for too much longer, uh, we're going to finish it there. So uh, this has been Stas and Beefy with the um, side by side of the Quebec and Giga Yeast um, 044 Scottish Ale Yeast with the um, Goody Milk Stout. Hopefully we'll uh, continue on lots more beers coming today. Mm. Happy Gabs Day. Happy Gabs.